Okay, starting off turn number seven with Arjun. And the last turn, we brought out Gravestorm, so he's the big, bad, evil guy for this adventure. Now, what we actually want to do is at least one of our heroes wants to run up and kill the Phylactery, because that will automatically deal 10 damage to Gravestorm, and he has 20 hit points, so it's going to take a bunch of rounds to knock him down. Arjun is a bit more tanky and has more hit points, so I think I'll have him stay put, and we'll have Alyssa run for the Phylactery. Uh, we do have this Blazing Skeleton, and Arjun is adjacent, so I think for now... Arjun will use his uh, Tide of Iron to attack the Blazing Skeleton. Yeah, and he gets a plus 8 on that attack, and the Blazing Skeleton has a, a 13, so we just need to get a 5. And we've got an 18, so that's more than enough to take down the Blazing Skeleton. So the Blazing Skeleton goes down, so we add that to our experience pile. And take the Blazing Skeleton off the board. Now we're done with monsters for the most part. We're not going to do any more exploring. Um, we do get an adventure, or a treasure card. Short rest, flip up one of your unused powers. We can, we'll take it and we'll flip up this one so that we can get some more DPS. So we'll use that. Alright, let's update for Arjun. So he did not use a Surge. He... It's not moved yet, but he did attack. He did kill, so he did get that treasure. Uh, it's probably to our advantage. Let me see here. Hmm, how do we how do we kill this thing? All right, I think I'm gonna have Arjun just move into harm's way. So he will use his move action to move over here and you know, just make him adjacent to Greystorm. So he moved. So we didn't, we're not exploring anymore. Uh, we just don't want to bring out any new monsters that we don't have to bring out. So no tile, no monster. Uh, we do have an encounter though. And we can't cancel it. So whatever this encounter is, we have to have it. Uh, each hero takes damage. Nice. And Alyssa's dead. So, and I can't cancel it. So, Arjun goes to four. Alyssa gets knocked out. She's down to zero. So we lay her on her side. And now Gravestorm activates, because he activates for every villain phase. So if the... Uh, Two or more heroes, no. If he's within a tile, within one tile of a hero. So that's he's going to use the bite again. So let's hope that misses. Uh, Arjun has an 18 AC, so he has to roll a 10 or better. And he uh, hits. Okay, so Arjun's going to take two damage and get knocked back one triangle. This seems impossible, to be honest. This this thing's too powerful. It has too many hit points. So Arjun's down to two. That was Grey Storm's go. The end of our villain phase. Alyssa's turn. She's going to use a token to come back with uh, half her player health, which brings her back to four. So yes, she used a surge. So she's back up. Now she has a movement of 6, so she can move 12, which I think can easily get us all the way to the Flactory. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we can easily make it with no issue there at all. So, actually, can she do it in 6? Because if she can do it in 6, I don't think she can, but if she can get there in 6 moves, she can get there and attack. Let me see here. Is there anything here that can help me? Maybe I can use this. Choose any number of heroes and teleport. Okay, I mean, I, so I could teleport us. Let me see. I could teleport her, rather. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Yeah, she's just one out of range of getting there. So we're going to go ahead and have her teleport uh, any tile. So she just poofs over here and then attacks, just uses her attack, a uh, careful attack, to do uh, to take out the phylactery. And again, you know, the way the rules are written, and I, and I looked this up online because I did think it was a bit confusing, and the gen general consensus of everybody is that the uh, phylactery is basically just something that makes you have to go across the board and come back. But, it, you know, it, it doesn't have a hit point marker. It doesn't have an AC or anything. And if you look at the little picture on here, it's just like a piece of glass. So I would imagine, like, its armor class is zero. And its hit points are one. So basically, by attacking it, all you're doing is just smashing it or whatever. And anybody can do that. So this thing is now smashed. And that means that Gravestorm's uh, hit points are now down to 10. So I'll keep track of that here. Gravestorm, 20, and now 10. Um, okay, so that was Alyssa's... Uh, so she moved... She um, Actually, she didn't move. Actually, yeah, she hasn't moved. So she used the item. She teleported. So she attacked... And she smashed the item, not a monster, so she doesn't get a treasure card. But she can still move, because she hasn't actually used her move action yet. So let's have her come on, come on the way back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have her go all the way to here. So just to, you know, we just need to get some DPS on this thing if we're going to have any chance of killing it. But I don't think we can do... I don't know if we can live long enough to take it down. I really don't think we can, but... Okay, so she attacked. She did move now. Um, no, uh, no exploration, which means no new tile, which means no new monster, which means a forced encounter, and then gray storm and sliding walls. So, encounter. Place a new monster adjacent to the active hero. We have to do it because we don't have any enough experience to cancel it. My gut tells me Wraith. Thank God, my gut is wrong. Adjacent to the active hero, that would be Alyssa. And so now that's gonna go on the monster stack. So uh, we have a skeleton. All right, so that was the encounter. So now Gravestorm. Uh, if, okay, so the first couple don't apply if Gravestorm is within three tiles, that counts. It moves one tile toward the hero with the most hit points, and then attacks each hero on the closest hero's tile with a burst of lightning. So it's going to move one tile over, and now attack both of us with a burst of lightning. It's going to get a plus eight on that attack. So first up, our uh, Alyssa, it's her turn, so we'll attack her first. And 9 and 8 is uh, 17. That's going to hit Alyssa. Even though she currently has a 16, but it's still going to hit. So she takes 1 and 16. So Arjun takes 1. So we both take 1 damage from the lightning. Arjun's down to 1. Alyssa's down to 3. Now the sliding walls activates and does nothing. Now the skeleton activates. If the skeleton's adjacent, it is. It attacks with the scimitar. So attacking in Alyssa with the plus seven. And 11 and seven is 18. It's going to hit Alyssa. Taking her down to two. All right. So that's uh, the end of the seventh turn. So we'll be back with turn number eight. And I think, I think we might get into turn eight, nine... I don't think we're going to get to 10 before we're dead.